Thanks for joining me. In this new series, we're going to talk about foam rolling, and this is going to cover the basics, okay, and hopefully some helpful tips along the way, but why it's beneficial, okay, and how you can utilize it to help yourself. So number one, foam rolling has been studied, and they've compared it to traditional stretching, and they found that foam rolling actually will improve vertical leap in basketball players 20% over you know, traditional stretching. So it's fantastic for stretching you out. It helps to push out inflammation. Inflammation is a protein-based chemical and it can get lodged in the tissues and your body will then you know, hold water to dilute that and so then you have swelling and inflammation and you just don't feel good. You can't heal like that. So doing the foam roller pushes that inflammation out, allows your body to heal faster and more completely. And then the last thing is, a lot of times you have a, a protective covering, like a sheath, or like your skin, okay, over the muscles, and it's called fascia. Sometimes, especially after injury or with inflammation, the fascia can get all knotted up, okay? And then the muscle can't move as freely as it's supposed to. So sometimes when you do the foam roller, you're able to actually break up some of those knotted up fascial fibers, and that's going to help... Um, when your body heals that to lay down those fibers along the vectors of, st of, of stress, okay, as the muscles being used normally, it's going to allow it to heal more completely and faster. So that's a, a real good reason to do the foam roller. So a couple of do's and don'ts. Number one, never, never, never roll over a joint, especially like the hips or the outsides of the knees, because you have bursa in the knee joint or in the hip that you know, tendons will go across. A bursa is a fluid-filled sac that cushions the joint as muscles or tendons slip across that, okay? So if you roll over that with your body weight, there's a real good chance you're gonna, you know, irritate that, that bursa and it's gonna swell, you're gonna have inflammation, it's gonna lead to pain. So never roll over a joint, okay? We're gonna roll right up to the joint, and this is the second helpful tip. We're gonna usually roll a muscle six to eight times and if it's not tender, we're gonna move on to the next thing. If it is, you may wanna linger there. You may wanna do 10, 20, 30 reps. What you wanna do, what you wanna accomplish is you wanna loosen that muscle up. It needs to feel like it's doing better. And often it'll be very tender, and what we wanna do is get it to where it's just mildly tender. Don't expect to get rid of uh, you know, a chronic complaint in one treatment. It's not gonna happen, okay? But if you stick with this and you do it daily, it can make a tremendous difference in a week to two weeks. I've cleared up some chronic conditions that I've had for years in a couple of weeks by doing foam roller, okay? So, uh, I hope you enjoy the series. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you soon.